Next, we're going to look at the product rule. Now, the product rule applies whenever we have a function times a function. So let's say, for example, we had y equals 7x squared minus 3x all times 2x cubed plus 8x. Now, if we wanted to differentiate that, we would use the product rule. And the product rule states that dy by dx equals v du dx plus u dv dx. So essentially what we need to do is we need to call one of these functions of x u and we need to call one of these functions of x v. We then need to differentiate each of those functions and then apply it into the formula for dy by dx. So let's call our first function on the left function u and we'll call our function on the right function v. Therefore we have u equals 7x squared minus 3x and we're going to differentiate that because we also need du by dx in our final formula. So du by dx equals well, 7x squared differentiates to 14x because we multiply the power down and then we reduce the power by 1. And minus 3x just differentiates to minus 3. Next we have our function v. And our function v is 2x cubed plus 8x. We also need dv dx. Well, if we differentiate 2x cubed with respect to x, we'll get 6x squared. And if we differentiate 8x, we're just going to get 8. So next, we're going to put those values into our formula for dy by dx. Well, dy by dx from our formula is v du dx, or v times du dx. Well, v is 2x cubed plus 8x. And du dx is 14x minus 3. We're then going to need to add u dv dx. Well, u is 7x squared minus 3x. dv dx is 6x squared plus 8. Now hopefully you recall when we multiply out pairs of brackets we need to multiply every term in the left bracket with every term in the right bracket. So multiplying two brackets each with two terms is going to generate four terms. So first of all, we're going to do 2x cubed times 14x. Well, 2x cubed times 14x, we need to multiply the coefficients together. So we've got 2 times 14 is 28. And x cubed times x is x to the 4. Next, we're going to multiply 2x cubed by minus 3. 2x cubed times minus 3 is minus 6x cubed. Next we can move on to the second term in the left hand bracket which is plus 8x and we need to first multiply that by the left hand term in the second bracket. So 8x times 14x is 112x squared and then finally we've got the 8x times the minus 3 in the second bracket. Well, 8x times minus 3 is minus 24x. So next we're ready to move on to the second pair of brackets. So now, the first thing we need to do is multiply 7x squared by 6x squared. Well, 7x squared times 6x squared is 42x to the 4. Now I'm going to multiply the 7x squared by the 8. Well, 7x squared times 8 
is 56x squared. Now I'm going to move on to the minus 3x. I've got minus 3x times 6x squared is minus 18x cubed. And finally, I've got the minus 3x times 8, which is minus 24x. Now the next step to simplify this is to collect like terms. Therefore, we have dy by dx, the derivative, equals. Now as we inspect all of the terms that we have after we've multiplied out the brackets, what we notice is that we have two terms involving x to the power 4. So I've got 28x to the 4 plus 42x to the 4, which is 70x to the 4. That's those two terms there taken care of. Now if I look for terms involving x cubed, I've got minus 6x cubed minus 18x cubed, which gives me minus 24x cubed. And that's that term and that term taken care of. Next, I have terms involving x squared. I have 112x squared plus 56x squared, which is 168x squared. And that's those two terms there taken care of. And finally, I have minus 24x minus another 24x, which is minus 48x. So our original expression y equals 7x squared minus 3x times 2x cubed plus 8x differentiates to what we have at the bottom here, 70x to the 4 minus 24x cubed plus 168x squared minus 48x. And the way that we do that, whenever we have a function multiplied by a function, or the product of two functions, we need to use the product rule, which states dy by dx equals v du dx plus u dv dx.